Okay, let's bridge over into section two. So what we'll do is uh, the last moves of section one, and we'll lead into the first move of section two. Okay, so from the the last uh, brush knee, okay, here, just a review leading into the next part. Next part, the wrist comes up, but the elbow also sinks down. Okay, so the wrist is up, wrist goes up, elbow sinks down, and the claw sinks down. Okay, so we just did your punch. You're going to wrist up, elbow down, shoulder down, claw down. Okay, jingun dao doi, repeat. Then make a big circle. Notice that the left hand circling out, right hand circles. So they're going to make a big circle. And they're going to touch just like you have them touch throughout the whole form, except the hands will not be open this time, but they'll be closed in the fist still. So I've come and done my punch. First punch in the form. Sink. Circle. And sink some more. Then shift over. Shift over to the right. Flip the hands over. It's almost going to be like you have a sword in your hand, and you're doing a sword cut coming around. Have you done the Chen Saber? This is very similar to the Chen Saber. Here, the back toe will turn in, and in one momentous movement, the hand will swing out just like it was a sword cut, and the other hand will go down. So it will go like this. The foot will circle around and come forward, and the hands will continue to circle and touch. Okay. Here, here. Now, at this point, the hands are opening so that when you get to here, it's just like your earlier jingan dao doi, with the hand folding in, coming up. Okay? And if that's all you know, then that's the close. Okay? But if it's not all you know, then you're going to continue on, and we'll do that on the next lesson. So, one more time from here. You can pressure the foot a second time if you need to to get around, up, and down. Um.